Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Arc 8 by Waffle. Sorry for lack of updates, busy with life stuff, getting married, etc. Now updated to have auto saves. Whoops. Now updated to keep people from getting stuck in the end of the final chamber. So yeah, don't worry about life. Life happens. Life's important. Life's more important than video games. Definitely sort your life out first, and then you can have fun with video games. Now, you've linked all the parts here. Uh, you should probably just make a collection. Like, are these not already in a collection? Here's arc one, right? There's no collection here. So, what you do, if you want to make a collection, you go to the Portal 2 workshop, right? And then you click this button that says browse. Actually, you just hover over it, you don't even need to click it. But then you click on collections. And there's a create collection button right here that you can click on. And this is how you create a collection. It's in the least intuitive spot ever. I always have trouble finding it. I had to, like, look at it before recording this, just to make sure I remembered where it was. But, uh, yeah, that's how you make collections. But anyway... Uh, not really much of a description in terms of the map. But, uh, here we go. Looks like we just start there. And we have Ark. Now, I will be hopefully... streaming... Arc 9, because Arc 9 is also available at the same time, and, uh, Waffle asked me to stream it, rather than recording it. So it will be in the Friday stream, I hope. Probably the first map on the stream. So if you're interested in that, look out for the notification. Should go up sometime Thursday or early Friday, and I will be streaming Arc 9. As for this map, I need to provide feedback, apparently. They asked for feedback about whether it's actually puzzles or just walking around pushing buttons. And I'll admit, if you haven't been mapping in a long time, it can be easy to forget whether, you know... It can be easy to forget how to make good puzzles, is what I'm trying to say. So that's where the world portal is. Right here. That's actually kinda cool looking. Interesting. Alright, so... It's also been a long time since I've played the arc maps. <laughs> So this is a nice little tutorial chamber, it looks like. Yes, this is just getting us familiarized with the world portal. Very nice. Always good to have a tutorial chamber. Ooh. So let's take the cube with us. And that's there now. Oh. Interesting. That looks significant. Let's go there first. That lets us see that portal surface. Hmm. So that means we don't need the world portal anymore. So we can take this cube. Plonk that back there. And we can travel through here. Excellent. <laughs> Hello there. Why... The glass isn't very see-through here, but it is here. I think that has to do with which side of the world portal the glass is on. Like, here the glass is kind of... foggy, but here you can see through just fine. Yeah, probably just a rendering bug. Not much you can do about that, really. I've always wanted to make a puzzle like this. Although, at the same time, these puzzles do tend to get... a bit... Oh, and there's no laser cube, though, so we don't have to worry, worry about angles. <laughs> Ow! Well, that works. Completely accidentally. Yep, there's- that's how you do it. <laughs> uh... I was gonna experiment a bit, but it seems I got it right on the first try. Oh, why is that portable? Isn't that a vent? What's that supposed to be? Strange. What do we have here? Hmm... Suspicious? Is there anything we can portal on in here? Not really. Maybe they'll become available to us in the next area? Perhaps? 
But yeah, so that- we've done the two tutorial puzzles already. We've learned about world portals, and we've learned about lasers through world portals. So this should be the actual puzzle. That is a huge fan! Also, that's a cool animation, but that is a HUGE fan! In fact, because of how low poly it is, the way it's been, uh, stretched up like that, it has a weird illusion to it where you can't tell if it's small and close to you or far and large. That is weird, man. Oh, that makes my eyes hurt. Ooh. Ow! Hello there. Was that a world portal this whole time? And I just didn't notice. Ooh, I see now. So if that's how we want things to be. Is it okay if I turn off laser collision? There we go. Much better experience. That gives us access to that. And... blam! Uh... Oh, uh, here's my portal. Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! That's, uh, quite frightening. Now we gotta hit this somehow. Hmm, what is that? Just decoration, I hope? Sure hope. That illusion. That is such a strong optical illusion. Does it keep moving portals? Can we have moving portals? No. Okay. Oh! Well that- I guess that works. I guess that works! Didn't even consider that. I should've experimented with it, but yeah, that works too. What does this do, though? I'm gonna save here. Uh... Interesting. What? Why can I push the button multiple times? I'm not sure why I can push it multiple times. If it's permanent, then I shouldn't be able to press it multiple times. That's probably just a bug. Hmm. This complicates things. Why does that part rotate? That's strange. Didn't even notice that was happening before. Oh, I don't think we need to go over there anymore, so let's, uh... Let's hop in this funnel and see where it goes. There's this now. Has that always been there? I don't think so, right? Wait, am I supposed to go through there? Don't think so, right? Can I not place the portal here? Is this not something that is possible to do? Whoa! How can I jump so high? Have I always been able to jump this high? Since when? Did you change the gravity? Also, why can't I not shoot a portal here? I, I really feel like I'm meant to be able to shoot a portal there. Oh, that's death. Let's not do that. Um... Well... Nope, that is just straight up death. I cannot make that jump. Where did I save? I think I might have been trapped there, by virtue of not being able to place a portal. And I'm pretty sure I should have been able to place a portal. Yeah, I can place portals there. 
What's the deal? Now I have normal jump height. Was this platform still technically rotating or something? I can't even tell if that's gonna work or not. I think that's just gonna kill me, but let's find out. Also, why is the Deadly Goose so bright? I don't think it's supposed to be that bright. I think the lighting might be slat slightly a tad off. Yeah, I don't think I can fit in here. Yeah. Ooh, it's just eye candy. Ah, well. Goodbye, cruel world. Man, that- that kills you before you even touch the water, doesn't it? Or at least it starts dealing damage to you before you even touch the water. Let's see... I wanna get this laser, right? Why is this only on sometimes? Does it not work anymore? Now it works! Was that- was that able to work when I had it funneled like this? So maybe I wasn't trapped that whole time. Could I not have just walked through here like a normal person? How did I get trapped? See, now I can place a portal here. I think somehow this was bugged. And I'm only jumping normal height. I think I must have run into some obscure bug a moment ago. Because I think this was definitely not turned on before. Right, well. Let's, uh... Bonk a portal there, and what about here? No, it seems like that is not close enough to work. And it doesn't want to bend the laser either. Oh crap, let's not fall off, please. What is with that? That looks like the lighting's weird there. Was that stuff that fell off before? That's probably why the lighting looks weird. What is that? What was that shadow? Oh, was that- yeah, right, I forgot about those lights. Right. <laughs> totally forgot about the blades. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a dynamic light source then. Hmm. Where's this funnel supposed to take me over to? I mean, I can get it over here with the funnel, but... Pressing that button multiple times doesn't do anything, so it's not part of the puzzle. Ooh, oh, gosh. Careful. Oh, let's not do that. Right, I forgot that wouldn't kill me. I mean, it would kill me. Oh my gosh, get me out of the funnel! I'm a bit haphazardly doing things today. Well, this definitely seems like a puzzle to me, although I'm not sure what I would use this for just yet. Yeah, what is that for? That's... Oh, right, I just needed to do that. But I also need to figure that out. That's never gonna work. Let's try this instead. That gives us the funnel, but not... Okay, this is probably what we have to use, because this gives us the funnel and the laser at the same time. Actually, can I just do this in advance? Yeah, probably. Oh, right, that's graded, but that- yeah, I can just drop down. So what about... the laser? Oh, maybe this isn't so much as a puzzle anyway. Maybe I'm overcomplicating things. Okay, so this was really just a matter of guessing the right angle, I think. Yeah, yeah, okay, so... I would estimate this puzzle to be easy. In terms of difficulty level. Yeah, see that? All you had to do was find... Hit, keep hitting that button until it rotated to both have the funnel and the laser on a portal surface, and then this last part solved for you. It's a good idea! I really like the concept a lot. 
but in its current state, it's not very puzzling. And this... this whole thing with these guys? A little bit unnecessary, I think. I mean, it looks cool, but... I think there's better ways to go about doing it than that. I would love to see further iteration on this concept, though, because you can certainly make very challenging puzzles with this concept. Although, I'm not sure how you would prototype them. As for the hammer work, I'm- I'm no critic about that. So, somebody else in the comments is gonna have to tell you about that. Anyway... Oh, wow, that's the end of the map. <laughs> anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video, or the livestream where I play Arc 9. Goodbye!